Welcome to Edupedia World Grade 10 Computer Science Video Lecture Series. I'm Upeka Wendibona and this is the orientation introduction episode of this lecture series. First of all, let me tell you what is our course outline. In the first section, we are going to cover up the computer logic part. In the second section, we are going to cover up the data representation and the third section the algorithms in the fourth section we are going to programming with c++ programming language in the fifth section the last section we are going to learn how to document our source code so this is what we are going to do all through this lecture series now let's go into more detail in each section the first section computer logic here we are going to learn about the propositional logic and the logic gates, the basic three gates, AND gate, OR gate, and the NOT gate, and all the other gates we derive with these three basic gates. And also we are going to learn about the Boolean algebra, basically the fundamental laws in Boolean algebra, and how to draw digital circuits, from Boolean expression to the digital circuits, and digital circuits to the Boolean expression. And also we are going to learn about how to draw a truth table for a boolean expression as well as getting a boolean expression from a truth table. So that's what we are going to learn in the first section. In the second section, the data representation section, we are going to learn about few numbering systems, especially the binary numbering system and also octal and hexadecimal numbering system. Then we are going to learn how to convert values between these three types from binary to octal, octal to hexadecimal, and hexadecimal to binary, and so on. And also we are going to learn about how to represent real numbers, integers, and negative numbers in a computer system. And also we learn about how to represent characters in a computer system. And also we learn about the concept 32-bit and 64-bit. The third section, algorithms, here we are not going to go much detail with algorithms, just only the properties and the complexity concept. And also we are going to try out few algorithms representing with structured English. So this is not about advanced algorithms, just only we are going to touch the algorithm, the fundamental things. The fourth section is the most important one because in this section we are going to look at the practical side, the programming. The language we have selected is C++, so in here we are going to learn about how to create loops, arrays, casting and usage of the operators and data types and variables and assignment. And also we learn about standard input and output of C++ and the compile time and runtime errors and also how to create conditional statements. For the practical coding part, we are planning to use an IDE this time, Integrated Development Environment, and it would be NetBeans. Rather than using the traditional approach with software such like Boland, Turbo, C++ and Visual C++, I think it is beneficial for you to learn C++ with an advanced IDE such like NetBeans. So with the same NetBeans IDE, you can learn the Java language too because it is important to learn Java language as a high school learner. So that's why we selected NetBeans for learning C++. The last section is documentation, the documentation of the source code. Here we are going to learn about good documentation practices, about alignment, about formatting of the source code and etc. And also we are going to learn about commenting techniques in C++ because it is important to describe with a little description what we are going to do with each of the source code. So that's what we are going to cover up all through this lecture series. We have five sections and I hope you will enjoy what we have planned out to give it for you. Thank you for watching and from the next lecture we will start our first episode in the first section and there we are going to learn about logic gates. So stay tuned on with Edupedia World.